Kidney failure is common in Singapore but can be controlled in the early stages by appropriate medication, diet and lifestyle changes. But even after taking these steps, a patient may still reach end-stage kidney failure. If that happens, early preparation and transition to kidney replacement therapy is extremely important to avoid further complications, declining health and early death. Mr. Ang is one of my patients who I've been seeing. He has long-standing diabetes and poor kidney function. Mr. Ang, we're here to review your kidney function. Unfortunately, your kidneys are not doing well, and I think it's time we discuss your options, such as dialysis or transplantation. Mm, doctor, I know what you're getting at, but I'm feeling perfectly fine at the moment. Therefore, can I delay dialysis? Also, if I were to go on dialysis, my work and my life will be a mess, not to talk about the costs. Uh, doctor, there is no way I can cope with all these issues. Mr. Ang, I understand all your concerns, but dialysis is not as scary as you find it to be. There are avenues of help available for you. Also, there are many people on dialysis who are still working and continue to lead fulfilling lives. We have counsellors trained to discuss all the available options such as transplantation or dialysis with you and your family. Despite the explanation of the risk of delaying treatment, Mr. Ong is still not keen. Unfortunately, Mr. Ong delayed his dialysis and was rushed to the emergency room with shortness of breath a few months later. Mr. Ong was admitted to the intensive care unit as he required urgent dialysis, where a temporary dialysis catheter had to be inserted into a major blood vessel. His wife and daughter were extremely worried as Mr. Ong was critically ill. Fortunately, Mr. Ong's medical condition stabilized. However, he lost some of his independence due to his stay in the hospital. As such, his hospital stay was prolonged as he had to undergo rehabilitation. This resulted in higher medical bills. And unfortunately, Mr. Ong lost his job he so wanted to keep. Eventually, Mr. Ong was discharged after a few weeks' stay and transitioned to long-term home dialysis therapy, peritoneal dialysis. Looking back, Mr. Ong's situation could have been very different. I got to know some fellow patients after I was discharged who underwent counselling and started on dialysis as outpatients. I hear their transition to dialysis was smooth without a need for a prolonged hospital stay. It is very important to start preparation early for dialysis to avoid complications.